everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to be stuffing our cash from our August 1st paychecks. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube and I am working on paying off debt as well as building up an emergency and sinking funds. So if that is something that you're interested in and you haven't already, please consider subscribing below. All right, so as you can see, I'm frantically putting the money in order. I am trying to film this video really quick before I run out the door to go to work. But I realized I really needed to go get some food to get this cash stuff so I can move on with my life <laughs> with the money. We do have $293 here. I did just go out and spend money because I went and got coffee this morning. So I used some of my miscellaneous money. That means I should have six less because it was $5 in change and then the change is in there. But yeah, it was four ones back. But I took out $293. I'm like, what is 93 minus six? Why is my brain not working right now? Would that be 287? Yeah, 287. So I should have 287 here left over. Really quick, as always, we'll just zip through the budget, see what we have, and I will link the full budget video below so that you can watch the August 1st budget video if you haven't already. And I did explain this in the August video, but the August paychecks are going to be a little low, mostly because I was transitioning out of work. I was, wasn't running as many sessions. I just, you see a little bit of a loss, but September should definitely pick up for me as I go full force into my new job. So we're gonna just kind of make do in August with what we have, but let's zoom you in to the pay. My August 1st paychecks, my first Big pay was $1,980.75. That's from my old job, which is officially done now. Though I still keep feeling like I need to go to work there or I have work to do there. I'm sure that's gonna take a couple weeks to, to die down, but it's really strong this week. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> my new job was $488.75. So total I had $2,469.50 in pay. I did do 30%, a little tiny bit over 30% in taxes. So I took out $750 for taxes. However, um, $152 of that is automatically going to go to my 2022 tax. And then the rest I'm going to put towards 2023 estimated. When I took out tax, it left me with $1,719.50. I had $2301 in rollover, which brought me up to $1,742.51. Then my roommate was $847.72. When I added that back in, it came out to $2,590.23. So that is what we're working with today. And this is the first of the month. So we have our rents, which actually I just paid that. So let me, I like to do a little check when I pay and then a check again when it comes out of my account. And then we have just the utilities, my phone, health insurance, one credit card, student loan, my violin. I am doing just a 25 snowball payment. Did have some easy pays. I have $50 set aside for gas in my car. I minus the $22.50 for internet from my roommate's check because we don't pay internet until the middle of the month. When all that was said and done, it left me with $443.57. I left $150.57 in the bank just as a miscellaneous line. I always do that. And then I did take out, so $200 for food, $20 for miscellaneous, and then these are the sinking funds that we are going to be stuffing today. So that was like a really fast run through, but you can watch the full budget video. It is linked in the description box below. Go ahead and count our money real quick make sure we have what we should have and then we will jump into the stuffing and i already forget what i said <laughs> which is really sad i think i said i can't believe i already forgot this was it 293 and then i took out six so it should be 287 and so we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 90, 200. So if I'm doing my math right, this should be 87. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Okay, I did that right. That was a relief. I had a moment where I'm like, uh-oh, I don't think I have enough ones. <laughs> So if you watched my last budget video, my last cash stuffing, I started something new where I am going to be 
I always wish there was like one more here so I could separate them a little better. I'm going to be splitting my wallet money in half. So I am going to do that again this paycheck. Sorry, I didn't say that very well because I was doing like a bunch of things at once. So let's unstuff my wallet first. I do have a few ones. So kind of going back to what I was just saying, I do actually love taking my food money and then dividing it for week one and week two in my budget. It worked a lot better than just having all the money. And I did end up with a few ones left over, which was pretty cool. So that will go into my savings challenges because that is what I'm doing with leftover cash for the rest of this year. Next year, I think I want to start the $5 and $5 challenge again. And then we do have a bunch of change in here as well. Let's get that out. Okay. The other thing about my wallet is the zipper broke right here. The zipper pull It's like, okay. And also it's kind of, I don't want to show you because my credit cards are there, but the slots are also starting to break too. So this was just your basic Avon cash stuffing wallet. There's nothing fancy about it. When I first started cash stuffing, I started on my own before I started YouTube. I think I got this like, so October of 2021. Is that true? Yeah, I guess so because I've been filming for oh, about a, over a year and a half now. It has almost lasted two years and it is like not quite two years, right? A year and like nine-ish months. I don't know, give or take a few months. And it is only now starting to fall apart. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it, but doing the Amazon video where I reviewed all the budget books was so much fun. And I was thinking since this wallet is actually now kind of starting to fall apart, it might be fun to do another big like review video of wallets that are available. So I did with the budget book, I can find which one that I want for myself and then the rest I could do a giveaway with because I wouldn't need like a whole bunch of wallets. I like doing it in different price points. So comment below if you think that would be a fun video to watch if you'd like to see different wallets and if you would give me some suggestions. So is there any cash stuffing wallets that you've had your eye on that you thought about buying whether it's on Amazon or even I know some other cash stuffers also have their own wallets. So if you've always wanted to get a good review of them, let me know. And I think that's something I'd like to put together. That would be kind of a fun video to do. But I am talking way too much. All right, so we are doing our wallet first really quick. Let me pull this back out. So food had 200 and again, I'm gonna split it. So I have a 50 and a 50 for this week and next week. 40 for this week, 40 for next week a 10 for this week, a 10 for next week. So each week I basically budgeted $100 in groceries. So 50, 70, 90, 100. And I'm gonna wait on this because I have my miscellaneous budgeted as well. Miscellaneous was a 20, so I did a 10. And like I said, I just spent that, so I have four ones left. So four ones for this week and a 10 for next week. And I have to say, I just loved last budget when I started to run out of cash. It was so nice to go in my envelope and be like, wait a minute, I have like over a hundred more dollars here. Definitely made a difference, so I'm digging it. So this is my week two envelope that I threw in last time. So I'm just gonna shove it in here. And then next week when I'm running low, I will just grab the rest of my budgeted money. And we are good with that. Actually, let's keep this out because now we have to do our envelopes. I think I said this in the budget video, but I, have, I haven't filmed for like over a week and man, I still feel off. Like I feel like I can't get my groove again, but I'm sure I will. A first one we are doing is bills. Bills I am just building up just in case. So today is actually August 3rd. I am filming this a few days before you see it on Sunday. We are only doing 10 today because we only we were only down to like $73 at this point. So we didn't do as much. Bills now has... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Wow, that's super nice. $175 for bills. That would definitely cover one or two bills if I ever needed it. It's pretty cool. This one, I really don't have a, a maximum. I just wanna build it. It's just like an emergency fund for house. Medical is also getting a 10. This one, I usually do try to get to 100. 
I have yet to do that though, I think, on my channel. <laughs> um, today we're throwing in 10. I might need about 90 something. It always changes. Sometimes I go and get my medicine. I don't know why it seems to fluctuate. Sometimes it's 94, sometimes it's 99. That might have something to do with the price of the medicine. So I try to get about 100, which is a three month supply. So basically having a Hashimoto's is costing me about 400 a year just in medicine. When I think about it that way, that is kind of crazy. So with the 10, we now have 10, 20, five. So we're about a quarter of a way there. Uh oh, my marker just fell. All right, let me grab that real quick. Savings. This really is just a general savings. I think if I ever do get it to a nice point, I could think about what to do with it. But for now, it seems to just serve as a, uh oh, I need money. I have money in my savings kind of thing throughout the year. We need to give it five. Savings now has 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. The other thing that just kind of crossed my mind as I was talking is that I took away my OT folder when I simplified and I do have a lot of OT expenses. So it might be nice just to see this as a catch all and then maybe help with the OT expenses. I skipped shopping. I skipped giving. Riley is getting five. So she now has 10, 15, 20. Just a few more. My car is getting seven. My car is also due for an oil change. I actually need to call and schedule that. So this cash is going to go to pay for the oil change, which makes me feel relieved to have the cash here for it because then I don't have to worry about budgeting it with my paychecks. It's already there. Today I am throwing in another seven. Then we have five. Six, so I don't know, these ones are like all backwards and upside down. <laughs> okay. My car fund now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we now have 111 in our car fund, which is nice. Most of that will go to the old change. I'm trying to remember how much it was. I would say it was like 80 or 90, so, but you know, at least it's their family that is I'm trying to save up again for my third payment towards my mom. Today, I am giving her 10. My family envelope now has 20, 40, 50, 60. I was kind of debating when I wanted to send the next payment by. I like giving myself those deadlines because it kind of helped me prioritize it. My mom's birthday is in August as well, but I'm, this isn't really much to give her. So I'm thinking I might do a next huge payment at Christmas time. I thought that might be a fun Christmas payment. If I could get the rest of the money by Christmas, I think that would be awesome. My mom would love that as a Christmas present because she kind of just has everything she needs. So she never like really wants anything. And so she kind of liked, I think, getting the cash. And I think that's a, that is, I believe what I'm gonna do is really work towards making a huge payment for my mom for Christmas, ideally the rest of it, but at least half of what I owe, which I think is still like 1500. So that is the goal I'm working for. The last one is Secret Stash. Secret Stash has like, I don't know why I'm holding on to this. I'm holding on to this card that's already done that I did for like the past year and a half. And I don't know why. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is the new one. So we're getting 10. Secret stash now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I had unstuffed this um back in june to go out <laughs> for a night out so that is why that is so low again and we're building it back up okay so now wow 
This is actually getting really thick. I'm like, I see a bill condensing in my future. That It's almost getting too hard to close. Savings challenges, we should have 16 left. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Plus we'll throw in the wallet. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's cool. That's like an even 20. Um, I don't even think, I'm like, what am I doing with, do I have any? I am going to throw this in here. This will be for a cash stuff, um, savings challenge video for August. And that is it. We are good with our cash stuffing. I'm good with my wallet and we are ready to make it to the middle of the month budgeted and set. I think that is it, you guys. I feel like I rambled a lot. There's nothing left to say. I think right now I'm just thinking I have to get to work. So I'm going to go off and work and make more money because that is the name of the game for me in my life. It is work hard and play hard. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Sunday. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.